Hello guys, welcome to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to interface a potentiometer with a PIC16 F77A microcontroller. So let's get started. This is our PIC16 F77A DIL version having 40 pins. This is the potentiometer I'm talking about. It has only three pins. So this is our VCC pin. I name it as VCC. This is adjustable and this one is a ground. I name them like this. So now let's see how to connect them. You connect VCC with the VCC of the PIC that is 5 volt to the potentiometer goes from PIC. Adjustable pin is our ADC pin as well. You send it to any available ADC pin of the PIC. I am using pin A0 that is pin number 2. Ground goes to ground. Now to display the output and also to calibrate the sensor we will need this LCD. I am using a 16 into 1 LCD having no backlight. I am going to use 10 kilo ohm variable resistor to adjust the contrast of the LCD and this LCD has 16 pins from left to right 1 to 16 if you hold it like this. Now let's do the connection. Pin 1 and 5 of the LCD goes to pin number 1 of the variable resistor then goes to common ground. Pin number 2 is adjustable. This goes to pin number 3 of the LCD and pin number 2 of the LCD goes to pin number 3 of the variable resistor and from there it goes to VCC of the PIC. So 5 volt to the variable resistor and 5 volt to the LCD from PIC. Pin number 4 is the RS pin. You can use av any available digital input output pin of the PIC16 FA77A for this. I am using pin number C0 that is pin 15. Pin number 6 una unable. I am using C1 for this. For data pin 4 that is 11 I am using C2. For D5 C3. For D6 D0. And for D7 I am using pin 20 that is D1. Rest of these pins 7, 8, 9, 10 are for 8 bit mode while we are using 4 bit. 15 and 16 for are for LCD backlight and this LCD has no backlight. So these 6 pin go empty. So what I am going to do is that when I rotate this potentiometer some values will be displayed on the LCD. It will be programmed in such a way. And when I rotate in the other direction values will change. So while keeping these values in mind I will calibrate it in such a way that when a potentiometer is rotated little bit it will show 10% when more 20% and the whole way the last point will be 100% and when we go opposite it will be like 190, 80, 70, 60, 50 and the end. So let's do the micro C for pick programming. This is our micro C for pick. Let me zoom in. Go to file, new project, click on next, so write the name of your project, Potentio Learning Microcontroller. I select pick 16 fa 7 a I am using pick 16 fa 7 a I am using a 20 megahertz crystal, click on next 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 and next now first of all we need to initialize the LCD for that go to library manager here you have this LCD there you have LCD INIT this command here you can see in the example you have this 4 bit LCD initialization sign text you copy it you copy it and place it above the one time loop here since here RS is defined as B4 which, B4, which is incorrect so I'm gonna make it C0. I'm using pin number C0 for this. For enable, I'm using C1. For D7, I'm using D1. Then D0. Then as shown in the presentation, these values are according to those pin pin layout. C2. C. D7 for D1. D0, C3, and C2. C0 and C1 for RS and enable. Do the same here for the direction. C0 for RS. C1 for enable. D1. D0, C3 and C2. Here we go. Now initialize the LCD. Use this command LCD INIT. This will initialize the LCD to be used with PIC. Give some initialization delay. One second is enough. Now since we are also using ADC pins as well, we need to initialize the ADC pins. Use this command to initialize the LCDs. Oh sorry, PIC 16 fa 7 as ADC pins. Now you can use the ADC pins as well. Now we know that this LCD by default has a cursor. We remove this cursor because we do not need it. So copy this command LCD CMD and you place it here. You place it twice and now you remove this for cursor. You go back to library manager LCD CMD. There below it you have this chart available LCD commands. There you have turn off cursor. You copy this and place it inside the bracket. This will turn off the cursor give some initialization delay and this command clears the screen so cursor is turned off and for the first time when the program is being run LCD is cleared if there are any rag back values now we can go to our forever loop write this to go to forever loop give starting bracket 
and the ending bracket now first of all we will need to do some ADC conversions we need to receive value from the potentiometer to be displayed on the LCD we write we take a float variable to receive values float pod from potentiometer and LCD cannot display float directly so we first need to connect convert it to a string we take pod 1 4 like it is a string pod 1 which can store 5 characters so first of all we read value from the LCD for that go to library manager here you have ADC click on this ADC read you copy this then you place it right here replace this with pod this will receive value from which channel I am using pin A0 so pod will receive value from pin number A0 that is pin number 2 of the PIC microcontroller where I had connected the adjustable pin so I give some initialization delay this will do fine now we convert this to as you know we need to display it on the screen and LCD cannot display these floats directly we need to convert to convert this to uh, char float to str like float to string pot to pot 1 this float will be converted to this char which can be displayed on the LCD give some initialization delay now to display it on the LCD we use this command LCD out start writing from row 1 column 1 what we write pod 1 here it will be displayed on the L LCD give some initialization delay keep it displayed for half second 0 0.5 second now again clear the screen for new values to be displayed now we use this program for the purpose of calibration now let's build this code and burn it on the hardware okay here you go click on this to build the code code is built successfully let me show you the hardware this is our hardware this is our LCD this is the LCD and this is our potentiometer I am using as you can see it is a normal potentiometer and that is our PIC16 F877A microcontroller you can see it is a DIL version 40 pin PIC so let's get back and burn our code and see what happens ok now I burn the code ok go to picket 3 programmer go to file import what is the name of our code our code name is potential learning microcontroller so you find that code this is the code we are using click on write as you can see the code is being written let it write up ok the code is being written ok our code is written okay give 5 volt from the picket 3.5 here you go okay what we get is that now the cursor is removed okay we are receiving 0 on the screen now I rotate this further let's see what happens I rotate it okay value start increasing so we were at the end so value increase let's see to what extent they can go I am keep, keep I keep on rotating it as you know that PIC 16 F 77 ADC has a 10 bit resolution so it cannot exceed 1024 value so let's see what is the end ok I am increasing it further ok it's going good and it's the end it can't go above that so 1020 as told you it can't go one above 1024 now I go the opposite way let's see we will use these values to calibrate it in such a way that it will show percent that how much percent it is rotated see it goes back smoothly and when I reach 0 it's 0 so guys we use these values to do our calibration ok let's zoom in ok first of all below the, this pod command you write if if pod is greater than 0 and pod give space pot is less than 50 then what should happen make give space LCD should display that it's at 0 percent that at this level of rotation it should display it's 0 make it 100 and display value 0 percent and give the ending 
now this is the command we are going to use now again copy this but th this time we have something called second value so use use the else if if above is not met then it should go in this loop in this loop if it is greater than 50 and less than 100 like we had rotated it further then it should display 10 percent and when we go further we rotate it further it's above 100 and less than 200 then it should display 20 percent and when we go further like it's above 200 and less than 300 it should display 30 percent similarly we go this to till 100 go for fourth one that is above 300 and less than 400 it should display 40 percent and when we go further that is above 400 and less than 500 it displays 50 percent and when we go above further that is above 500 and less than 600 it should display 60 percent and the next step will be above 600 and less than 700 it displays 70 percent and now we go further when it's above 700 and less than 800 it displays 80 percent and when we go further that is above 800 and less than 900 it displays 90 percent and the final value is the 100 percent will be like this like it should be above 900 then all the values above 900 are 100 percent now we clear the bracket c you write one here and the ending bracket goes here in this way this syntax is properly written okay the syntax is clear i will upload this code in the description as well so you can simply copy paste it when you run it and you can do the changes as you like if you want to change the steps or something like this this see these are not properly written so let's recheck as well okay this is for 20 percent and then it's 10 percent and then finally we have our zero percent okay guys this is the code we will need to calibrate the pick after it's uh, executed we will clear the screen to clear the screen use this command for the new values to be displayed which is already done so we had already done the calibration now we do not need to clear the screen we simply delete these values we do not need to convert it to float because we had already done that and we do not need to clear the screen because these values will replace each other these values will simply replace each other now we build the code and see what happens click on build so it's built successfully now we go to our hardware go to hardware just click on write button we had already selected the same file see the new code is being burned let it burn it's burning okay the new code is burned now let's see what happens okay the cursor is removed now i rotate this see i rotate little bit let me go back zero okay it says 20 percent and 10 percent zero 10 okay i go further 20 then 30 then 40 i'm rotating further 50 60 70 80 90 and then finally 100 now this is the end i can't go further see it's at 100 percent when it's fully rotated now i go back it should go back in the same way so let's do it so i go back now see it's uh, i go back to 100 now i go back slowly slowly it says 90 percent then 80 
so guys our code is working fine as shown in the presentation this is a very easy simple project you can make and it has tons of application especially when using PWM for speed control you will love it and also for battery monitoring as well you will love it it's a very good thing very good tool to make to be used in different projects so guys as you can see our coding is working 100% fine now I do bring it to some random values here I remove I simply rotated it, it reached 30 I rotated further it will reach 60 see it reached 70 80 I go back so it's at 40 percent I go back it's at 20 percent now I rotate it other direction it's at 60 percent so guys it's working 100 percent fine you can easily use this project so thank you very much for your time and I hope you guys learned from something from this videos so have a nice day and bye